So this is something that I mentioned in my class before, and I may use this for some different classes. It's kind of general. The idea is related to something that in high school or college physics would be brought up as charge polarization, but I bring it up before that just talking about the history of what people knew about electric charges and the general idea of static electricity, which you can bring up in grade school, go on and talk about more. I've got this, uh, usually use a balloon, but I got this compostable vegetable bag. I rub it on my hair. I'm going to do what a lot of us have done when we we're little kids. I'm going to take it and get it near. It's going to pick up some of the bits of paper. And I claimed in class the other day that you could do this with a lot of different stuff. So here's some different stuff. I got just cut pieces of plastic from the junk food wrapper. And doesn't work as well, but yeah, you can see them floating up. I also claim that it works very well with aluminum foil. That's just some scraps of old aluminum foil that I used on something before. Yeah, they're flying all over. But the really fun one, and I said was kind of interesting, most people don't realize it would work with, is it works with almost anything. If you get the bag wet, it will take off the static charges and it won't work anymore. But if you don't get it wet, it does have some traction for water. Look at how that's bending. The stream of water, I'll do it again. Watch where the bottom is when I get the bag near. It moves. Don't want to waste water. I can pick up bits of paper, plastic, aluminum, can make water move all over the place by rubbing this, this cheap piece of junk. Usually I use a balloon, doesn't matter. I get static electricity and I can attract a lot of things. I can explain why when we sit in class, but this is just for fun and seeing how it really does work the way I said it would. Have fun with it. Try it yourself. Bye.